Listen, Mo. <laughs> Jizia. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am, chatting up a storm. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. We are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or... Baisha didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. It's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. Ugh, I knew it! Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baiju at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? The terrains are complicated here, and we usually take that one route. If you don't mind, perhaps we can leave together for now. You can decide your future plans once we leave here. Yeah, let's get going! <laughs>
It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! from the fight? You saw our sentinel in your memories? Yes, the one we built this statue for. The Oracle Engine Sentinel in Zhenzhou. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. The sentinel in Zhenzhou is known as Jie, manifesting in the form of a long, like the statue you just saw. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Jinzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chisya oh. might be in danger. Rover, please. and resolute. Chance. 
wants to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mo- Anyway, Yang Yang was trying to shield you, and then BAM! The test of Discord was taken care of, but see? There's a residence beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a fight. When you see a beacon... When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent, but if you... Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijiu here. Where is she? show up it wasn't here when we just got here but i didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence so it appeared while we weren't looking like in the blink of an eye or maybe the etheric seat can tell where we are could it be following us the center of the tacit field isn't that baija
Elijah is just concerned about your condition. She must think we shouldn't be living all that much, since you've just regained consciousness. This isn't the place we're talking. Let's go. Bad timing. I sense your weakness. Bad timing. Strike from the shadows. Keep it together.
My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guamalong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Check those out, shall we? <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condense the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huang Long, as that's where the names Pangu Terminal and Tiangu Data Bank come from. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago. When Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granny of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. No! 
Pulse back. This is a holographic message to all of Jinjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jin Jo has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors along with the diligence of our citizens that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. person our magistrate was talking about. It's Rover. Wow, so this is the true measure of a chief. I mean, of our Rover. This is the true measure of a chief. It's a famous line from a good old hero play. It's been running for almost four years. It's a really heartwarming tale about the chief and their squad. Does that hero play story sound familiar to you? Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Jin Zhou, and you will be our important friend. We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jin Zhou, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pan Hua's restaurant. Best for the team to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the possibility of other latent risks. Given our lack of data on you and your unusual physical signs, I suggest absorbing another reverberation with your terminal when we find one. That being said, please be sure to proceed cautiously. Yeah. Too hard on yourself. You should get a checkup just to be safe. Besides, Yang Yang's very worried about you. If you feel any discomfort along the way, please do let us know. I'm the 
gonna get you one you can absorb. I never go back on my promise. Your hero Chicha's on the hunt. Hey, ha! Storm, hear the command. Ha! Ugh, I'm okay. Hey, ha! Ha! Nah, doesn't matter. Can you reenact what you did before? Hmm. Maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. Huh. Huh. 